Guys and gals, welcome back to the Collector's Domain. Joseph here bringing to you a part, what are we? Part three of our look at Beyond Death, the brand new uh, magic expansion. Just released, oh well, pre released over this weekend and Martin Luther King weekend. And we are taking a look at one of the first booster packs for this set. And this is part three, and we have already broken down one third of the box. Now we're going to get through, not another third, a sixth. Here we go. Let's see if we can do it. So we haven't really pulled anything crazy yet. So that just means this next two thirds of the box is going to be disgusting. So let's see. Uh, put this back in. This will be another video. Let's try to get through this today. Yeah, we're taking our time with this. The reason we're going so slow is because we're really taking our time and really absorbing this set. Trying to find the cards that we like. There we go. Sentinel's Eyes. We've seen this one. I'm just going to go through the cards that we haven't seen yet. Vex and Goal, Flying Flash for a 3-drop for a 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Satessan Training, Enchantment Aura, 2. Uh, 1 Colorless, 1 Green, Enchantment Aura, uh, enchant creatures e creature you control when to set test and training enters the battlefield draw a card enchanted creature gets plus one zero and trample okay i like it i like that one a lot anything that gives me trample lampad traveler's amulet we've seen this one uh we saw this one in ashiok's deck i think there's for meaning set and skirmisher creature human warrior for two constellation when you know uh, enchantment you control enters the battlefield under your control, if this card gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Meh. Iroa's Blessing. Four drop. Red. Enchantment Aura. Enchanted creature you control. When it enters the battlefield, deals four damage to target creature or planeswalker an opponent controls. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one. Pretty cool. Staggering Insight. Enchant creature, enchant creature gets plus one, plus one, has lifelink, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Interesting, putting this onto a flying creature. It is for uh, blue or white, Azorius. Chain web arachnir. Reach, whoa, that's a lot of text. When it enters the battlefield, deals damage equal to its power to target creature with flying and opponent controls. Uh... That sucks. With three. Okay, so if it escapes, it gets three plus one plus one, so that would be a four. So that's pretty good. It'll deal damage four. So that's pretty cool. For one mana. Oh no, well, for five mana. Eh, not bad. I like it. Let's see. Heliod's Punishment. Second uncommon. Oh, third uncommon. So this is a rare. Elspeth's Conquer's Death. Ooh, that's very cool. Love the look of that. Three turn saga. Exile target permanent and an opponent controls with converted mana three or greater. That's pretty cool. This is a five drop. Second, non creature spells your opponent's control cost two more to cast until your next turn. Very cool again. Third saga, return target creature or planeswalk card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Put a plus one plus one counter or a loyalty counter on it. Very cool. I like this one a lot. Um, I hope to see. Uh, if I could add this somewhere. Ooh, very nice. We've got a... Oh, it's a lot of scratches on there. Yeah, those are print lines. <clears throat> Full art Nyx Plains. Very cool. Like that. And a regular mountain. Love it. What is this? No table required. Not even a token. That sucks. Okay. But, uh, very cool. <laughs> I think... I don't know. This thing is really cool. I like this card a lot. So, yeah, I can't wait to see how this... The value of this one holds. I like that one. Again, I'm a new player. I think this is probably one of the uh, more valuable cards we've gotten, which is about seven bucks right now. Probably going to drop down, but uh, seven bucks for these. Pretty sad that this is one of the more valuable cards we've pulled so far. Uh, I guess I'll stick this one with the hollows. And this one with the lands. Uncommons. Uh, sure. Five minutes and we're only one pack in. Here we go. Let's see. 
whoop, excuse me, cards. Nyxborn Corsair, Vexing Goal, Aspect of Manticore, Scavenging Harpy, 3 drop. Creature Harpy flying when it enters the battlefield, exile target card from opponent's graveyard. Uh, Moss Viper, Death Touch. I like that one. Grim Physician. We've seen that one a bunch of times. This one too. Saw this in the last pack. Same as this one. Funeral Rites are ooh, Furious Rise. Is that Clothis? It looks like Clothis. For a 3 drop in red enchantment at the beginning of your end step, if you control a creature with power 4 or greater, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card until you exile another card with Furious Rise. You may play that card, so I guess you don't have to pay the cost. That's pretty cool. This seems like a really good card. I'll put this down here. Banishing Light. 3 drop white enchantment. When Banishing Light enters the battlefield, exile target non land permanent and opponent controls until this card leaves the battlefield. Okay. And we've got the Birth of Melitus. We've seen this one. And our rare. Oh, is Mantle of the Wolf. That looks cool. Four drop, Enchantment Aura. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets 4 4. Um, when Mantle of the Wolf is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, create two green. 2-2 two, two wolf tokens. That's pretty cool. I like this one too. We've got a mountain and a whatever token. Come on, Cerberus. Oops. Still have yet to hit something crazy. Where are these mythics? Final flare. All I'm asking is for Nyx Bloom. Um, there we go. Final flare. It's that Vegeta card, Transcendent Envoy. So then the Planeswalker deck, Plummet, it's a reprint, Omen of the Dead, Rumbling Sentry, Gracious Typhon, Skillful War Leader, Myers Grasp, Towering Wave Mystic, Nyx Herald. Here we go. Enchantment Creature, Creature Shaman, Centaur Shaman. At the beginning of your combat step, uh, target Enchanted Creature or an Enchantment Creature you control gets plus one, plus one, and trample until end of turn. Meh, not okay. Interesting. A Reverend Hoplite. Five drop white. Creature human soldier. When Reverend Hoplite enters the battlefield, create a number of 1-1 one, one human soldier tokens equal to your devotion to white. So this is similar to that um, something herd card with all the horses from white as well. I think it's also... No, the other one was a 10 drop. And that gave you 1-1 one, one horses. Pegasus. Pegasi for each for your health total so that was great for commander I, I threw that into my commander deck um this one devotion to white okay interesting there we go sweet oblivion two drop blue sorcery target player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard escape okay interesting might be good for a graveyard deck Perforous Interventures, Intervention, Perforosis, for X and one red sorcery, choose one, create an X1 red elemental creature token with trample and haste, sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. Perforosis Intervention deals twice X damage to target creature or planeswalker. That's handy. I like that one. And we got a Triton Wave Rider, common, full hollow. An island and an empty one. I like my tokens. Where are my tokens? Triumphant Surge. Cool. Like the art on that. Is that Elspeth? Looks like Elspeth. Instant four drop white. Destroy target creature with power four greater. You gain three life. That's pretty cool. Sleep of the Dead. We've seen this one in the Planeswalker deck. Incendiary Oracle. Two drop red creature human shaman for two mana incendiary oracle gets plus one zero until end of turn if a creature dealt damage by incendiary oracle this turn would die exile it instead no omen of the sun scavenging harpy moss viper his favor nilia's hunts master pious wafer there we go the irreverent revelers uh, gray merchant of asphodel asphodel i think this is a good card i like this one You've seen this one before. It's when enters the battlefield, each opponent loses X life, where X is your devotion to black. You gain that much life 
lost this way. That's crazy. This is going to be great in Commander, in my opinion. Uh, am I wrong, guys? I don't know. I like this. I'm going to be running this, definitely, for sure. <clears throat> um, this is uncommon. Stinging Lionfish for 2-drop blue. Enchantment Creature Fish. Whenever you cast your first spell during your each opponent's turn, you may tap or untap target non-land permanent. That sounds really good. I like that. That's really cool. Third one is Hateful Edelon, and our rare is Idyllic Tutor. Very cool. This was a $30 card. Now it's dropped down to maybe $10 or $6. So great to see a reprint. Much more available. Terrible for business. Sorcery. Search your library for an enchantment card. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. Then shuffle your library. Pretty cool. Straightforward. Love it. We've got... Ooh, these tokens. They love these human tokens. These human soldiers. Oops. I hope you guys had better luck with these boxes than I'm having right now. <laughs> I did pick up three or four more boxes. So... Maybe we'll go through them. Nyxborn Corsair. Ichthyomorphous. Rapid Flames. Soul Reaper of Mogus. Ooh, that's a new one. Three drop black. Or three mana sacrifice creature. Draw a card. I like that. Straightforward. Nexus Wardens. Three mana. 